Hello everyone, thanks for being here, welcome or welcome back, I'm Morgan. Let's talk about boundaries and guilt and how to preserve our energy and our time. Well, time and energy usually goes hand in hand. So, we can feel drained and distracted by things or social media, right? And we can tend to procrastinate, even procrastinate sleep. I've been there. You see a cute puppy on Instagram and then before you know it, you are scrolling for cute puppies for 15 minutes. Anyway, <laughs> so we all do that to an extent, right? And we also tend to let other people sometimes invade our personal space. So it's important to find balance between the time that you want to give to people in general and the time that you want to use to work and the time you want to use for family, self-care, rest, whatever, okay? And having no plans doesn't mean that you are available to hang out. So it, it used to be a problem that I had in the past, in my younger days, when someone would be like, hey, what are you doing on, I don't know, Wednesday afternoon? Oh, I don't really have anything planned. Well, come with me there. And there, I, I, because I, I would give my power away and I wouldn't dare say no, I would be like, okay, and then in myself I'm like, mm, why did I say yes? Because I was bad, I was so bad at setting boundaries. And I thought that if someone wanting, wanted me to go somewhere with them, that was nice of them, so I had to accept the invitation. Yeah, that, that's the level of boundaries I had in the past. We're talking about, you know, uh, late teenage, uh, early early 20s. So setting boundaries doesn't have to be hard and it's about also trusting ourselves that we can stick to our boundaries and there is no need to make an excuse or to be afraid to be judged or criticized. And in the same way, when you grant your time, you decide to spend some time with someone and, uh, and they have something going on, there is also a balance to be found between the venting time, you know, they're going through things and uh, rehashing what happened and like being on the loop, etc. So there is a balance between allowing them to vent or allowing yourself to vent as well, which is human, it's normal, we're friends, uh, it's normal to support one another, right? But then th there is also a trap in this because when we spend too much time listening to, to this human being who is venting, at some point it becomes like feeding the negative. Like there is a point in time when it kind of becomes a disservice. That's what I've noticed. So being a good listener is a thing, but don't let that um, trap you in, oh my God, yes, I need to be there because they, they still need to vent. Because at some point, uh, it's not helping you, it's not helping the other human in question either. So there is a kind of a emotional loop or emotional cycle, cycle is, is a better word, um, that okay, you, you just meet, you start talking, and then after a while, then the, the other human is starting to repeat always the same thing. Then cut it, because that's, of course, in a loving way, you know, <laughs> but just bring them back into the now. Okay, how can I help you now? You've let it out your chest. What can I do for you? What do you think you need? How can I support you? Because otherwise it's just going to feel, like I was saying, feel this negative energy and it's going to drain you. It's not going to be productive anymore. 
So this is also very important. And sometimes the the label that we stick to our to our own forehead or that is stuck by other people on our forehead to be the good listener, to be always there for people when they need, then it kind of becomes like a role to play. And I'm not saying it's not sincere. It is, right? But like I said, how much is too much, right? So for you and for the human being in question, because I, I remember when, when I see myself in the now, when I look back, I'm like, wow, I would have liked that someone would have done this for me instead of letting me vent and be like, you know, stuck in this cycle and uh, like someone to pull you out of this. And in the same way, not tolerating guilt trips is also very beneficial you know when when you start setting boundaries and people are making you feel that they want more of your time or oh you're already leaving or you know like victim thing um guilt is a trauma response from you or from anyone who is trying to make you feel guilty as well so it's a from a place of wound, from a place of trauma or manipulation. And it doesn't mean the human being in question is harmful, like means you harm, right? It can just mean they are genuinely wounded and they don't necessarily have any toxic intentions towards you, even manipulation. Sometimes people manipulate just to be in your presence. They don't necessarily mean any harm. They just want to be in your energy. They want to spend time with you because they love you and they can feel, uh, they can feed their, themselves of your energy. But they, they don't necessarily mean any harm. Yet it's still draining. It's still causing you harm in a way or another. You know, it, it, even if it's, it's not their intention. So it's about choice, right? I personally don't consent to feeding this energy anymore. Uh, especially if it's followed by love bombing or a rain of never-ending compliment or taking your time for granted and things like that. So setting boundaries is not easy. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, for me, it was not easy. Maybe for other people, it is easier. We all have our own story, right? But it's also a way to find who your people are. Because boundaries are necessary for everyone. Everyone can benefit from that. And if someone is upset that you sent yeah, that you set the boundary, then you know, maybe talk about it. You know, why are you upset? Or why you know, it's it's also normal that I take time for myself, although you don't have to justify. But it can be a good way to introduce the conversation and go deeper and maybe solve an issue or a misunderstanding before it's created. So that's what I thought was important to, to talk about. So whether it is setting boundaries with others, but it always starts with ourselves, what we tolerate, what we give our consent to, what we give our energy to, and, uh, and it, it's, uh, it's all a choice, you know, it's all about a way, the, the way we see things and what we want to do. So, yes, I hope this was helpful. And if you have a wound related to guilt, for example, let me tell you that guilt is an illusion, it's just a perception. I went through that too, feeling guilty for, for setting boundaries, for saying no, etc. But guilt is really, really unnecessary. It's low vibrational. It never serves anyone, right? So if you have one thing to remember is that guilt is not serving you. If you would like to talk about your situation and the way that you feel guilty in this or that situation or for saying no, I'd be glad to have this chat with you. I have free consultations, so it's more like a free evaluation of your situation. 
to give tips, advice, and how, what you could benefit from to, to move forward and reach your goals. So feel free to book your free call. I will put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, so I hope that was helpful. I wish you a beautiful time of the day when you're listening to this. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.